Hey guys, Austin Zuloff here. Today we're gonna to go over something super, super important, which is mastering the invite, okay? We're going to discuss word for word scripts on how to invite someone to look at your Zoom or get on a call later this evening, uh, how to look at your website, your video, how to get them in front of the information, and uh, I've got a huge bonus for you, by the way, at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Right. He comes on hard but nice. He's sincere, he is humble, and he is a powerhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, please go. Welcome. So today we're going to be going over one of the most important things that we can learn and implement as network marketing professionals. We're going to talk about how to master the invite. And I've got a huge bonus for you at the end of this video as well, completely free. Okay. So um, in mastering the invite, of course, you need to learn closing. You need to learn presenting. There are certain skills that you really need to learn to become a true network marketing professional. But if you can't master the invite, if you can't invite someone to look at information or get on a Zoom later that day or whatever the case may be, then the rest is kind of a moot point, isn't it? So that's what we're gonna be going over today. We're gonna to break it down in four simple steps anyone, including you, anyone can do. And we're gonna make it very easy and it's, it's really fun once you get the hang of it, okay? And so uh, step number one is simply be busy. People relate being busy with being successful. And of course, if you're busy, that means that they can't ask you a whole bunch of questions right off the bat, okay? So step one is be busy. And I'm gonna explain exactly how to do this and what to say word for word in just a moment. Step one, be busy. Step two is clear the date. You wanna make sure that they're going to be available at the time of the Zoom or the call or you wanna make sure that they're gonna have 15 minutes at some point to check out your information. So step two is simply clear the date. Step three is see if they're open. So now you're going to tell them a little bit about what it's all about. And then step four is confirm the date and send the information, okay? So this is exactly what it should sound like, okay? So let's say that I'm calling somebody. I call up Steve and I'm like, hey Steve, hey, What's up, man? Um, I'm actually really busy. I'm falling behind just by calling you, but I had to carve out some time to reach out because it's super important, okay? That's be busy, right? Next is clear the date. Hey, man, what are you doing tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern time? Very simple. What are you doing tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern time? I'm inviting him to a Zoom. He says, oh, man, I, uh, I'm not really doing much, you know, just hanging out with the family. Why, what's up? Say, Cool, I'm having a private call tonight at eight o'clock Eastern time with a few leaders, uh, and including my mentor. Now it sounds like you're not doing anything that would prevent you from listening in. Can I count on you to just listen in for about 10 minutes and give me your honest thoughts on what it is that you hear? Very simple, right? I'm having a private call tonight at eight o'clock Eastern uh, with my mentor and a couple leaders and I'd love for you to listen in. Can I count on you to just listen in and give me your honest thoughts about what it is that you hear? And then uh, next is to, uh, you know, he says, well, yeah, or he's probably gonna say, well, what's it about? In which case you refer back to, man, I wanna get into it a little bit further with you and we'll go over it tonight, but I gotta get off here right now. As I mentioned, I'm falling behind just by reaching out, but this is super important. Just need to know, can I count on you to listen in tonight at eight o'clock for about 10 minutes. No biggie, right? So um, he says, yeah, sure, go ahead, send me the information, I'll be on. And so you're going to confirm the date and send the information, right? Okay, great, I'll go ahead and I'll send you the information. I'll see you tonight at eight o'clock Eastern time. Trust me, you're gonna be excited to be on there. And I'm looking forward to seeing what your thoughts are. Talk soon and then hang up. Cut it short, you know what I'm saying? Less is more, right? So. One of the big reasons why you be busy, you know, why you appear to be busy at the very beginning is so they don't go asking you a bunch of questions and all that sort of thing. You know, you want to say less to more people. Write that down, by the way, if you're taking notes. Say less to more people. Um, it's, it's a situation where we're in a contact sport, meaning the more people you contact, 
the better you do, right? So what if you're uh, just inviting someone to look at some information, right? Not a Zoom, not a call, just some information. It sounds pretty similar, except a little bit different. So you would say something like this. Hey, Steve. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, listen, I'm falling behind by calling you. I'm super busy, but I had to carve out some time to make sure I reached out because this is super important. When are you going to have about 10 or 15 minutes for me? And then he says, seven o'clock. Okay, great. Listen, I'm going to send you over some information. I want you to check out it's going to take you about 10 or 15 minutes to, to check it out. And I want you to give me your honest feedback, okay? And I'll give you a call tonight about 7.30. Does that work for you? He says, yes. If he says, what's it about? Go back to the, I'm busy. Uh, like I said before, I'm super busy, but I had to carve out some time to make sure I give you a call because this is super important. I got to get off here, but I'll send you the info. It'll tell you all about it. Um, the 7.30 work for you. And if he says yes, which typically that's the response you're going to get, then you just reiterate what you just said. You say, okay, great. Listen, I, like I said, I'm super busy, but I'm going to carve out some time to make certain I give you a holler back at about 7.30. Are you positive you'll have checked out the information by then and 7.30 works for you? Are you sure? He says, yeah. That's an extra layer of accountability. You say, okay, great. Uh, I'll send over the info. Talk at 7.30. Done. Okay, so that's pretty simple, right? That's two different ways that you can invite and you need to just practice that and become fluid with it. Super simple and conversational. Now, here's the bonus. If you go on the description of this YouTube video, then you have the scripts word for word, both of them, along with the response that I gave if they say, what's it about? You have all that in the description of this YouTube video. Okay, so you can just copy that, put it in a text document, or just keep coming back to this video, whatever the case may be. Now, if this video has been helpful, please give me some feedback in the comments section. Give me some likes, dislikes. If you don't like it, that's fine too, whatever. John C. Maxwell says you can't please everybody, or uh, he said if you wanna be a leader, don't, um, if you wanna make everyone happy, don't be a leader, go sell ice cream, right? And uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not real big into ice cream. Okay, so uh, feel free to give me some feedback in the comment section. For more free information, go to austinzulop.com or find my business page on Facebook. And I appreciate you as always. Have a good one.